know that this scenery, this look a little different than normal. I am at my aunt and uncle's house, which is where I stay when I can't just like commute in same day or commute out same day out of Seattle. And today is the 23rd of December. I don't know if you've been aware, but there have been like mass cancellations from all the airlines due to the weather. There's a huge storm here on the Pacific Northwest, which is like taking out Seattle and Portland with like frozen rain and freezing temperatures and stuff like that. And then there's obviously the storm in the Midwest that had like a lot of snow in the like Minneapolis area. My rotation today was supposed to report at 9.28. I was supposed to go to Seattle, Vegas, Vegas, back to Seattle, and then Seattle to Portland. So basically I was flying in and out of that storm up here three different times. About 20 minutes ago, I got a call that my report time has been pushed back to 1 p.m. and the flight is now supposed to depart at 2 p.m. So it was originally supposed to depart at 10.28 a.m. and now it's 2 p.m. We will see, we shall see if um, that is, I'm getting a call, one moment. That was my uncle checking in on me. Um, I don't know what exactly I was saying before, but regardless, we were supposed to depart at, at 10.28 a.m. and now we're departing at 2 p.m. Report time is 1 p.m. However, on my rotation, it doesn't show the delays in our following two flights today like it doesn't reflect that yet so for instance it shows us not getting into vegas till uh 4 40 p.m and our flight is supposed to depart at 4 30 p.m so like we're not even there yet and our flight is supposed to depart so obviously that flight's gonna have to take a delay too the rotation could drastically change they could delay that flight and wait for us or they could, quite frankly, put a whole different crew on it and send us somewhere different. I mean, that is just the nature of this job. This holiday weekend is already crazy enough as to be expected, but add in the huge storms that have been going on. Could change a lot of things. Anyway, today um, I'm supposed to end up in Portland. We'll see how that goes. And then I have another trip that starts on the 25th. And in that trip, I just fly. I eventually end up in Minneapolis. I have a short Minneapolis layover. And then the only thing I'm supposed to do on the 26th is deadhead back from Minneapolis to Seattle. Well, I can deviate from that deadhead and fly from Minneapolis straight to Salt Lake. So I can go home and be home by 1 p.m. on the 26th, which is nice. I think I've explained it a few times in the vlogs before, but um, a deadhead is just basically being a passenger on the plane, but you are paid to be a passenger on the plane because the airline needs to get you from point A to point B. In this case, they need to get us back to base, but it could be they need to get you to a different airport because they need you to work a different flight, if that makes sense. So they just need to get you somewhere, so they have to put you on a flight and pay you for it because it's part of the rotation. So in this case, I'll deviate from it and just fly directly from Minneapolis back to Salt Lake. So not too crazy, but this whole weekend could be crazy. I will talk about it later hopefully i will end up in in a hotel in portland tonight if not could end up anywhere and i will keep you posted on that so yeah i'm just in my aunt's house now i'm kind of bummed because i had done basically all my makeup except for my mascara by the time they called me and i was like could you have called me 20 minutes earlier when i hadn't started my makeup yet I'm thinking about taking a nap it's 8 20 I'm thinking about just taking a nap but now I have to like sleep straight up with my face in the air because I don't want to get my makeup anywhere <laughs> anyway first world problems so yeah the only place I can set the camera up and 
show myself. And the lighting is horrible. I know this. Today was bad. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating. Not even in the slightest. I knew today was gonna be crazy and then it delivered it to me tenfold. So I'm sure most of you are aware that there are crazy storms going on throughout the entire states right now. I'm affected by a Pacific Northwest storm that was doing freezing rain in Seattle and Portland. And before I go any further, I know I told you all I was supposed to lay over in Portland tonight. Well, here I am in Seattle still and Yes, I did leave Seattle and come back to Seattle and got stuck in Seattle. So, just to give you a quick rundown. Um, yes, I'm still freezing. That's why I turned the heat up to 75 degrees. That's why I still have my big coat on. And I am not sure what tomorrow's gonna look like because my rotation has not updated. But I did do the first two legs of my day today, which was Seattle to Vegas, Vegas back to Seattle. Our flight to Portland was canceled. I don't know if you, I don't know if it was public knowledge or if it was online or anything because I was busy flying, but basically every single flight to Portland out of Seattle today was canceled because Portland's airport had like completely frozen over runways and they weren't able to clear them. So like Portland's airport was essentially shut down all day today. So we got on board and they waited an hour to an hour and a half to cancel the flight. And so then Basically from this point on, I've just been waiting for my rotation to update. I was supposed to have a layover in Portland, and then tomorrow I was supposed to go from Portland to Salt Lake, Salt Lake back to Seattle, and my rotation. I then have another rotation that starts on the 25th on Christmas day. And so I'm just not really sure what's gonna go on the next few days, but let me show you what time it is. Can you see that? It's literally 2.34 in the morning, 2.34 in the morning and I just now got into my hotel room. So I don't know what tomorrow's gonna look like. I don't know how much sleep I'm gonna get tonight. I'm probably gonna get a call from crew scheduling at a very inconvenient time when I would like to be asleep, updating me for my rotation. And that's that on that, I guess. I'm freezing. It's bone chilling cold here in Seattle and we waited for about 40 minutes outside for uh, our ride to take us to this hotel so you know not my favorite thing that's ever happened to me today again I knew today was gonna be crazy I knew in general this whole weekend this whole week was gonna be just insane but the storms really kicked it up a notch and it's funny because we were talking with the pilots one of the pilots had mentioned that it's been like almost five years since the airline industry has had this bad of a meltdown just in the sense where like nationwide flights are canceling like astronomical numbers of flights are canceling or delaying or just like canceling or delaying and delaying and delaying until they eventually cancel like this winter storms are just insane right now and no one's getting to their christmas plans so you could be like me and just not be able to go home for christmas i'm just kidding those poor passengers are already like me and they probably won't be able to make it to where they want to go on Christmas. So all of that to say, I'm going to start getting ready for bed and then I'm going to go right to bed because I only got like five hours of sleep last night and today has been extremely hectic. If I can think of any other fun juicy details I forgot to provide earlier, I will maybe tell you them tomorrow morning. I'll also update you on my um, rotation, but Things are gonna get wild, I think. I think things are just gonna get wilder. Really, I think that's what's gonna happen. I'm looking extremely crusty and dusty, so please, please forgive me. Let me go, let me go darker. Oh, that's better. As I am getting ready to eat my oatmeal before I wash my face and go to bed, I just got a call from crew scheduling that our rotation has been updated. Thank heavens. So now, tomorrow, I'm supposed to deadhead at 4.23 to Portland, then work a Portland to Salt Lake flight, and then Salt Lake back to Seattle. So it's similar to what it was supposed to have been tomorrow, but the report time and everything is later, and there's a deadhead at the front end of it now. So anyway, I will I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs>
as guilty as you want. But. I have never in my entire adult life of uh, being a career woman, a businesswoman, a working girl, begged the universe to work like I did today. And I am not working. I did not work today. I know you saw me pack up and leave the hotel room. I made it to the airport. I had to get to the airport like four hours early because I had to check out of this hotel room because I had booked this myself. This wasn't an airline booked hotel, like a layover hotel. Also, yes, I am using my coat as a blanket, in case you were wondering. I get to the airport, I eat lunch, I'm waiting there, and I see that my deadhead flight has been canceled. And I literally must have checked my phone, like, within seconds of it being legitimately canceled, because not even, like, a 60 seconds later, I get a call from sc crew scheduling, basically changing the rotation and completely canceling this second day. There's a few options with my airline. I genuinely have no idea how it works for other airlines, but you can do two separate options. One's called availability, one's called priority pickup. I'm just gonna get into the bare minimum description of these two things because one, I don't even know all the details, and two, it's much too confusing. Priority pickup means you as a flight attendant can go on the computer either this month or next month and say hey i want this trip if a really good trip pops up and the airline will give those to you before they will give them to people who are on reserve or whatever availability is completely separate availability is typically not the smart thing to do unless you're trying to ensure that you're you're getting paid but availability basically just means you're gonna take a reserve day for that very day like so i selected availability because i was already at the airport and i have a rotation that starts at noon tomorrow anyways the 25th and i was like well i'm already here so what's the point if they want to give me something anyway that would even take me into the next day and they want to ch com completely take that other rotation on my schedule i genuinely didn't care because i wanted to work i was like i don't care send me on a turn usually i hate turns because i'm not living in base and if i lived in base turns would be great but i don't live in base so i hate turns i would genuinely like, just do anything for me it's the 24th there's got to be somewhere they can throw me it's literally christmas eve there's going to be a call out somewhere well to make the story just even more interesting there was a code on my schedule that was a variation of the availability code and again i don't want to get into too many details because it's just going to confuse the viewers that are not flight attendants for my airline specifically um i thought it just meant availability across the board this particular code well, it took me almost four hours later to find out that that specific code means that I'm not legal for them to use me, but I'm still pay protected for these certain amount of hours. So I sat at the airport for four and a half hours thinking that I was going to get called and be used, only to realize that the code on my schedule means I cannot be called or used so I can go home and still be paid. <laughs> I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. How wild these last few days have been. I cannot make it up. So, I am back in another hotel room. A different room, same hotel that I was in last night. I am just hanging out. As you saw, I got ramen. Some of you may know that's like one of my favorite meals ever. And there's not a lot of places that I can find vegan ramen, but there is a lot of uh, vegan food in general in Seattle, which is great. I've been watching Netflix. At the end of the day, I'm not overly upset, but I really wanted to work today. This month in general has been extremely frustrating for me as a flight attendant who like actually wants to go on layovers because let me just put things into perspective. I'm gonna pull up my calendar here, my work schedule. I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna just go over this because I thought that December would be the wildest, craziest work working month so far. And I have had more days off than I can even imagine this month. And also way too many turns than I would like to think about, okay? So on the 3rd of December, I had a trip. I had a 30 
or 24 hour layover in Orlando. We started in Seattle. We worked the red eye from Seattle to Orlando. We had a 24 hour layover in Orlando. And then, so I basically slept there like when we landed in the morning and then slept there again that night. And then we took like a 8 a.m. flight out the next day. So I had one layover this month, one. It is December 24th and I have had one layover this month. I literally cannot, I literally cannot fathom a December schedule where a junior flight attendant has had only one layover this month, 24 days into the month. Anyway, let's move on to the next weekend. So on, on Saturday, December 10th, I started three of my reserve days. On day one, I was on standby, a 5 a.m. standby, which, anyway, I got called for a turn. So I was back by 2 p.m. And I was so frustrated because not only does that mean that I'm not getting a layover, but that also means that I'm legal for another very early report time the following morning. So anyways, I get a turn for the next day as well, because obviously. <laughs> so anyway, I get a turn for the next day and it's an Atlanta turn, which is a great, it's a high time turn. I like make a good amount of money doing that, but it's a very long day. It's like a 14 hour day basically. And we had some delays in Seattle, so it just made the day even longer. And then Monday the 12th, if you're keeping up, Monday the 12th would have been my third reserve day and I received another turn, three turns in a row. But I put it on the swap board and somebody wanted it and they picked it up. So I actually went home on Monday the 12th. So I had a whole extra day off that I wasn't expecting. And then December 17th, the next weekend, Saturday, December 17th, my other three reserve day blocks started and they assigned me a standby for 9.45 a.m. I was not used. So I went back to my aunt and uncle's house who live locally here to Seattle. And then for my second reserve day, I got a three leg turn. <laughs> Because the universe is like, oh, Kendra wants to be used for a trip? Nah. She actually wants to be a flight attendant? Nah. That was a long day. And then I had one last reserve day and I put it on the swap board. I hadn't been assigned anything. Put it on the swap board, somebody picked it up. Never saw that one coming. Somebody picked it up. So I actually commuted home late Sunday night and I had a whole extra day off that I wasn't expecting again. And then this trip rolls around. And I was supposed to have a layover in Portland. That didn't happen. So tomorrow I am going to Minneapolis, but it is a short layover. It's only like a 13 hour layover, but it's gonna be even less for me because my plan is to deviate and go home. So I can't do anything fun. Plus I would have no desire to do anything fun. I don't know if you've seen the weather reports, but it is 10, negative 10 degrees some days. The other day it was negative 10 degrees. And with wind chill, it was felt like negative 32. So I have no desire to go out in Minneapolis. All of that to say, this month in general has very much so not gone up in my favor. There's an, one exciting thing. I am doing a Honolulu trip on the 30th. So the next vlog you guys see will be my Honolulu trip, which is exciting. And I also sneak peek, I have another one next month. So that is really cool too. But I think I will have a lot more vlogs coming for next month. I have a lot of layovers next month, a lot of good three day trips and stuff, but I never thought in my wildest dreams that my December would pan out like this. Like I thought I would have been rerouted, laid over in random places I wasn't supposed to be. Meanwhile, I'm here stuck in base instead of all my layovers that were supposed to happen. I'm stuck in base. So obviously this ended up being more of like a chatty vlog, which is not totally my style these days. I really like to explore. I like to be very artistic with the footage I capture and also the way I edit it. Obviously, as you've seen in a few, in a lot of my videos, I like to choose very dramatic classical music or like, I don't know, very, like almost melancholy sounding classical music because that is like my favorite kind of music and I just really like to weave a story almost through my vlog and Unfortunately, this vlog is not gonna go that way in an artistic sense Although there is a very dramatic story to be told and I already told it so anyway I hope everyone had a good Christmas. You guys won't be seeing this till after Christmas But I hope you had a good Christmas. My Christmas Eve is alone in a hotel room for a second night in a row 
when I was supposed to be on a layover. So anyway, hopefully tomorrow goes according to plan. Tomorrow it's only a two leg day, but it is a quite a long day. We go from Seattle to Atlanta and then Atlanta to Minneapolis. Just slightly concerned about that day, flying into the world's busiest airport. And then from there flying into a place that has recently been hit by the snow. So the, the winter storm, Elliot. So we shall see. We shall see if that's what ends up happening. Obviously I will if update eventually. Hopefully there's something for me to vlog tomorrow. without any hiccups, which I was not expecting because of all the weather going on and Minneapolis has already canceled a bunch of flights. And they did the last few days, they did today, they did yesterday, they're doing it tomorrow again. It's just really bad weather. And then I think just in general, probably a lot of the airlines are still pretty understaffed recovering from the pandemic. I think a lot of airlines are doing their best at hiring a bunch of people, but we're still not getting all the people we need. So I think 80% of the problem is the weather and really only 20% is other and I think staffing is included in that. But just to put things into perspective, when all of that went down on the 23rd, the first day of me um, filming this, all those cancellations, all those reroutes for other people, people in Seattle weren't even able to get to their jobs. I don't know if you saw like videos and TikToks online of cars just sliding down hills that were they were completely parked like normal and they were just sliding down hills and it was just it's just a complete disaster and obviously the pacific northwest was experiencing their version of this winter storm but then you obviously had like the elliott winter storm going through other parts of the state so just a disaster but we made it to minneapolis i actually really like this hotel i'm like kind of living for it it's very nice. It's not like in downtown Minneapolis because this is a short layover, so it is a little closer to the airport, but it's a really nice hotel and it's kind of, you know, if you're a flight attendant and watching this and you probably, you probably can agree with me that sometimes you wanna to go to a nice layover and then sometimes you wanna find that hotel that you just feel comfortable at and you don't mind just like slam clicking and just laying in bed all day. This would be a hotel that I'd be like, maybe I don't need to avoid Minneapolis, you know what I mean? Like I could stay here. Unfortunately, it's only the short hotel. So if you get a long layover, you're not gonna be here, but yeah. The craziest thing about today is somebody on my crew, uh, her name is Chandler. She watches my videos or has watched some of my videos and she came up to me and she's like, do you do YouTube? And I like started blushing. I was like, yes. <laughs> Anyways, we hit it off. She's amazing. I had so much fun with her. I took some photos with her and my other crew member, Jess, who was also amazing. I had such a good time with my entire crew in general. So it was just a great time, but I loved Chandler and Jess. It was really great. Jess and I actually were on the same um, rotation that was supposed to be on the 23rd and the 24th, like the rotation that was also included in this vlog. She was on that as well, so she went through all that torture of cancellations and all that with me to make things even funnier. So we had another flight attendant on our flight who was commuting from Atlanta to Minneapolis, and he was like, I recognize you from somewhere. And I was like, really? That's so weird. Maybe I've like commuted on one of the flights you're working or whatever. Anyways, he deduced that it was not that and that he had watched my videos. 
and so then I started blushing too. This is the only this this is the first time in my entire career so far as flight attendant that anyone has recognized me from my videos or at least has told me that they recognize me from my videos and so I just thought that was so funny. Anyways, I had a great time today and I was expecting to be rerouted and canceled and all of that and um, I'm just glad that didn't happen. Nothing crazy. All the passengers were generally very nice. Everyone was just a happy Christmas and told us they appreciate what we do, which I obviously can greatly uh, appreciate coming from them, obviously, because we're here on Christmas Day working for them, so it was great to hear that kind of stuff. Here is the next obstacle I have to climb, though. I have to call crew scheduling and see if they will allow me to deviate from my deadhead tomorrow. Our only leg on this rotation for tomorrow is just a deadhead from uh, Minneapolis back to Seattle uh, so that was that's the only leg basically we're done and we're not working crew so I need to call them and ask them if they'll allow me to deviate so I can just fly straight to Salt Lake tomorrow morning unfortunately it's a 1 20 a.m. and the only flight I could get on was the 8 20 a.m. flight which is seven hours from now I have to wash my face brush my teeth get ready for bed call them and call Sam in this whole time and try to sleep. So I'm probably gonna get like four hours of sleep if I'm lucky. I will come on here with an update to see if they give me that deviation. I'm really hoping they do because what are they gonna use me for? I don't know, what are they gonna use me for? They're sending me back to my base. They're not even sending me to a different, like, ugh. anyway, so we'll see. We shall see. It's only been about seven minutes that I've been on hold for, but I could be on hold for another hour. It's 2.05 a.m. and the flight I'm hoping to get on leaves in six hours. <laughs> I'm just a little concerned for my chances here, you know what I mean? Well, I'm keeping the lights off and I'm only gonna film a quick clip because I don't really want you to see my face because I just was crying. I was on hold with scheduling for 45 minutes only for them to tell me that they will not they will not allow me to deviate from my deadhead tomorrow so just to summarize the issue for everybody um, I'm not gonna get into Seattle till about 4 p.m. Seattle time there's two flights to Salt Lake tomorrow night one's at 510 and one's at 710 both of them are oversold one is oversold by five one is oversold by two and there's like eight people on the non-rev list so i don't know if i'm gonna get on either of those so i had a bit of a breakdown just a minute ago about not knowing if i'm gonna make it home tomorrow night so yeah anyway it's 3 a.m i need to go to bed i'll let you know how tomorrow goes